Hey everybody, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to add those black bars to your footage. So um, just to give it that cinematic kind of widescreen look, I went over a shortcut way to do it and that, just to recap, you go to timeline, output blanking, and then choose which way you want it to be, what you want your ratio to be. So for me, I usually do 239 and there you go, you've got your bars. Now here's the only problem. It adds it to the entire timeline. So that includes your logos at the top or at the very beginning of your film. And I don't generally want that because you can see it cuts off the flames at the bottom right here. It cuts off those flames and doesn't show the entire logo. So how do we get around that? Well, let's reset this. Boom. Now we've got the black bars are gone, right? So I've got this chopped up to show you how to do it on multiple clips. So you'll want to be doing it while you're color grading. That is typically the best way or I'll show you both ways. There's a secondary way. So let's go to the color page. And so we're here now, right? So there's no black bars on any of the footage, including our logo. So let's say we want to start it with uh, this lo this first clip. So what you're going to do is highlight a node. So here you see my color grading node, and I'm going to do it towards the end. You can do it towards the beginning. It doesn't matter. So let's say I want to do it um, in the exposure balance, my first one. So you're going to go down here to where you see this little uh, crop picture icon. Then you're going to go... Um, you may be on this one automatically. You'll see here at the top, you want to get that full frame uh, transform symbol. Then you'll see cropping. And this is where you're going to go from the top down and then the bottom will go up and you just get it to where you're about right. Um, the way that I typically measure it, which I know is not the most scientific, is I'll do that. Then I'll do output blanking and just get a feel for how off I was right there. It looks like it was pretty dead on. So that's one way to do it, just kind of that. And then as you copy and paste and work your uh, grades, it will stick to each clip. Then only your clips are have the bars and your opening, your um, logos, see now it goes all the way to the bottom. I'm not having to worry about losing any of it. It's the full logo on the screen. And then when it comes into the movie, now we've got our bars. Okay, so that's one way to do it. So let's look at it, another one. Let's say you don't want to do that clip to clip. You'd rather just do it all and be done with it, but you still don't want it over the logo. So what I would do is go back to the edit, edit page, and then I'm going to go up to effects. And then I'm going to get an adjustment clip. So that'll be in our toolbox. So I just type AG day, then toolbox adjustment clip comes up. And now I put this on top of all the clips. Right, so it's right there. It's kind of like Premiere Pro, basically layer system, same idea. So you click that and then, so here, let's say we want to crop the top, want to crop the bottom. There you go. Now it's over all of the clips. And then, but your opening logo is still, is still black barless. So there you go, guys. 